Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 127 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as soon as you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So the amount of automobile losses reported in an insurance company are mutually independent and each loss is uniformly distributed between 0 and 20,000. All right, so this is 20,000. The company covers each loss subject to a deductible of 5,000. 5,000. Right. Calculate the probability of total payout on two, 200 reported loss is between this and this. Okay, so first we have to find, because 200 is definitely greater than 20, we can apply the central limit theorem. But that means we need a standard deviation and we also need a mean. So what would be the... But then the thing is, we can't just take, oh, you know, standard deviation for uniform distribution, we know it to be um, B minus A over 12, this thing, because this is for the loss, and then we're looking for the total payout. So what would be the uh, mean or expected value for a total payout? Well, that's just going to be from 0 to 5,000. The insurance company, the total payout is going to be 0. They're going to be paying $0.00. Right, but then from five thousand to twenty thousand, the payout is going to be whatever the loss is x minus the deductible, which is five thousand. So that's x minus five thousand, um, and it's distributed between 20, zero and twenty thousand. So we know that distribution function is going to be one over b minus a, where b a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. So that's going to be 1 over 20,000 here. All right, integrating this, we know that this is just going to be 0, right? <laughs> and then this is going to be integrated in terms of dx. So then that's going to be x minus 5,000 divided by 40,000, right? Squared, integrating this sucker out from 5,000 to 20,000. The upper limit here is going to give you 15,000 squared divided by 40,000, right? Minus 5,000, minus 5,000 is just going to give you zero, so the lower limit is going to give you zero. So integrating this, the mean is 5,625. In order for us to find the standard deviation, we know that this is equal to the square root of variance, where variance is equal to the second moment minus the first moment squared. So we just have to take the second moment. What would be the second moment here? That's going to be equal to 0 to 5,000. The expected value here is 0 squared, so that's the whole thing is going to be 0. This second term from 5,000 to 20,000, you just have to do the x minus 5,000 squared, right? Because we're looking for the second moment. And the probability function still stays the same, 20,000 dx. All right, integrating the sucker out, you get x minus 5,000 divided by 60,000. Integrating from 5,000 to 20,000. So plugging in the upper limit, you get 15,000 cubed divided by 60,000 minus the lower limit here is going to just give you zero as well. So this is equal to? Five six two five zero 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 zero. So then that's going to be like about like fifty six million. So then plugging it back into our formula, you get five fifty six here minus expectation, which is five six two five squared. So this is equal to some number here two four six zero nine three seven five, and our square root is just square root of this number. So that's going to be equal to about four nine. 60.78 all right so but this is only for one loss and we're trying to look at, at it for a total payout for 200 losses so i'm going to call this mean of star so that's for 200 losses so if there's 200 and then each loss is about 5625 the mean of 200 losses is going to be 200 times 5625 so that's equal to one one two five zero 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 so that's about one million 
standard deviation is the same idea. So take less the standard deviation, right? We have to bring it back to variance. 4960.78. But you're adding it 200 times, right? 200th. So that's essentially equal to 4960.78 times 200 which is approximately equal to 70156.076 after you take the square root. What is the probability the payout is between 1 million and 1 million two? So normalizing this using our thing that we found it's going to be equal to 1 million minus 1125 divided by 70156.076. This right here is going to be the definition of Z. 1200000. Oh, goodness gracious, so many zeros. Minus 1125000 divided by 70156.076. Lower limit here is going to be negative 1.78 and 1.069. So if we pull up the Z table and they give you the CDF of positive side, and we're looking for between these, we just have to take the CDF of 1.069 and then subtract the little bit here, they're, we, we, they're going to give you a positive size, so we have to look at the 1.78, subtract that little bit, right? Because then essentially it's the same, this area right here is going to be the same thing as this area right here. So then you're going to get the area that we want, which is going to be this in center. So at 1.069, that's going to be equal to like 1.07, which is 0.8577 minus the lower limit, 1.78. 1.78, which is 0.9625. But again, 0.9625 is this part right here, right? 0.9625. So this bit here is this 1 minus 0.9625, which is 0 0.0375. So subtracting that, this is equal to 0.8202, which is our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!